Welcome back. Sunshine is faded behind increasing clouds across the Twin Tiers, and this trend will continue as we go through the overnight period tonight as the storm system lifts up out of the Ohio Valley. A couple showers possible through the overnight period and even a rumble of thunder not out of the question. We'll call for a mostly cloudy and mild weekend. We're talking temperatures upper 60s and lower 70s. Normal high for this time of year in the lower 60s, so not that bad in the temperature department, but don't expect much in the way of sunshine. And we will be battling some showers and occasional thunderstorms throughout the weekend. Certainly not a washout, though. There will be extensive dry periods uh, throughout the weekend and then turning cooler by the middle of next week with occasional showers remaining in the forecast. So we'll track a couple showers right now coming up through the Ohio Valley and some of these sneaking into northwestern areas of Pennsylvania right now, uh, looking at increasing clouds locally here in the Twin Tiers. But eventually those showers will win out and uh, will include chances as we go through the overnight period tonight. May see a couple sprinkles or light showers as early as sunset over sections of Potter County and then sliding eastbound from there. So again, some showers. Uh, possible through the overnight period tonight. We're still sitting at 75 at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport, 66 in Dubois, 75 in State College, quite warm off to our south and east where temperatures are in the 80s right now from Poughkeepsie down through Allentown and Harrisburg coming in at 82. Locally here in the Twin Tiers, weather watchers reporting temperatures generally in the 70s. Don and Thurston's got 72, Nancy and Howard's reporting 74, and Roseanne and Wellsburg currently at 73 degrees. So one area low pressure kind of zips through during the overnight period tonight with cloudy skies and occasional showers. And then a larger storm system will take shape over uh, areas of the Midwest, and this will drive a warm front through our area as we go through the weekend, and that'll uh, kind of keep the chances for a couple showers and thunder showers around. But again, it's not going to be a washout. We'll get to that warm sector for Monday with temperatures close to 80 before cooler temperatures move in by the middle of next week. Tomorrow's forecast again, get used to the cloud cover and there will be some spotty showers there as well. I'll give you a 72 for our five degree guarantee. So we'll try and time out these showers on future track. Again, some spotty precipitation through the overnight period. There is some elevated instability, so we can't completely rule out a rumble of thunder as well. Waking up tomorrow morning, cloudy skies and notice here there's not much precipitation around, but there may be a spotty shower or two throughout the day, especially over the northern tier of Pennsylvania. Partial clearing for tomorrow night, some patchy fog possible, and then another cluster of showers and perhaps some rumbles of thunder going into Sunday morning. And we'll keep it a bit unsettled for Sunday with some afternoon thunderstorms, a possibility with localized downpours possible. 76 is what we forecast today, 75 the unofficial high down in the mid 50s tonight. So we stay mild, a couple showers here and there, a shower, a thunderstorm tomorrow, otherwise mostly cloudy. 72 our five degree guarantee that's above average by about 10 degrees. Similar temperatures for Sunday. Look at that 79 for Monday, late day thunderstorms with a strong cold front. And that front means business because it will drop temperatures for the middle of next week as advertised a cool down 58 for Wednesday, 57 on Thursday. And then we try and reverse that trend by this time next week. Yeah, the weather is still pretty not too bad. Could be worse. Mm -hmm. Certainly could be worse. A lot of clouds this weekend, but not a whole lot of precipitation and temperatures right around 70. So we'll take it. All right. Thanks, Joe. Okay.